After traveling in Latin America for five months, we have now reached our last country of our trip, which is no other than Mexico. We'll be spending one month exploring the beauty of this country, visiting several different destinations. And I now welcome you to join the journey exploring Mexico together. Mexico City, the vibrant capital of Mexico, is a bustling metropolis blending ancient history with modern culture. Known for its rich heritage, the city offers iconic landmarks, colorful neighborhoods, world-class museums, and a thriving culinary scene. We were lucky and got to spend a week here exploring this big capital. Hello everyone, my name is Janika and welcome to what I believe will be the last travel vlog from our backpacking journey in Latin America. Yesterday we arrived to Mexico City. This is a mega city. There's 22 and a half million people living here. Honestly, I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed because we have one week time to explore Mexico City, which sounds like quite a lot of time, but there is so much to do. We're just gonna have to take it day by day and try and see and do as much as possible. So I'm very excited to get to explore Mexico City for the coming week. Yesterday we checked into our Airbnb. It is very cute, just the perfect size for me and my boyfriend. There's a little kitchen and well, obviously a bathroom. And yeah, it's nice. They've added these cute little fairy lights above the bed. I think today's plan is that we're gonna go to the historical center. But before we go there, we have to figure out how the Metro works because this is such a big city. It's not really realistic to walk everywhere you could i guess take a taxi and uber but that's of course much more expensive i feel like learning how the local public transport system works in a way is more fun as well you can easily buy the metro card at any station either by a machine or a ticket counter the price of the card is 15 pesos and each metro trip costs five pesos so it's very affordable we have reached the historical center and taking the metro was so, so easy. You don't need to stress about it when you come here. And we've come to this huge square with a huge Mexican flag in the middle of it. Next to it is also a big famous cathedral. So let's go and check it out. After visiting the cathedral, we walked around a bit in the historical center and visited some shops as I was trying to find a dress for a wedding. I wasn't able to find any on this day, but I was a bit more lucky a few days later and you'll be seeing what dress I got in my upcoming Finland travel vlog. Swiss shop and I bought something that I have no idea what it is. I know it's vanilla flavored, but I don't actually know what it is, but it looks like this basically. Let's try. I hope it's good. I have no idea. Mm. Oh, it's like fudge. Like vanilla fudge. That's really, really good. Wow. I recommend. Soon about to see Mexico City from above. Wow, 
wow, from here you can see the whole city pretty much. I know that Mexico City has a bit of problems with air pollution. When you're in this tower, you can really kind of see it. Like it looks like it's foggy, but it's not actually fog. It's the, yeah, the pollution. We've seen a lot of people who wear masks and stuff, and I think that's the reason why. This tower has a cafe and a bit of a fancier restaurant that you can visit. There's also a small museum where you can learn more about Mexico City. We've now come to a spot called Almeida Central and this is the oldest municipal park in Mexico City. So much filling. <laughs> Good but very messy to eat. Have it all over me. This market was really nice selling so many cute things and I really badly wished I'd have more space in my backpack so that I could bring things home. I really loved these bowls for example, but unfortunately I had to leave them behind. Very sad. eating its head. It's good, but I think I like the other one even more. This one's a bit more mild flavored, I would say, but still good. Today we have come to a completely different neighborhood from yesterday. It's a neighborhood called Koyakan. It's supposed to be a very colorful and vibrant neighborhood. And what this neighborhood is most famous about is probably the Frida Kahlo Museum. However, today we're not going to be visiting that museum because you have to book tickets way in advance. And I tried booking them a week ago and I was way too late with it. So yeah, if you want to visit the Frida Kahlo Museum, make sure to book it at least a month in advance or something because they get sold out. But we did just pass it and it seems like even if you do have a ticket, you have to wait quite a long time in the line and it seems like a very busy site, to be honest. We're gonna explore what else this neighborhood has to offer because I think it's gonna be a really nice place with a lot to see and do. I saw a little churro stand and I couldn't resist, so I got myself a chocolate churro. Let's try it. Mm, so good, but so sweet. This is gonna make me thirsty. We have sat down here in the park and I bought myself an iced tea from 7-Eleven, one that I've never seen before. It's in the flavor maracuya, so passion fruit. Let's try it. Really nice and fresh. Recommend.
summer camp to a big shopping mall here and I'm gonna try and see if I could maybe finally find a dress for the wedding that I have soon in Finland. The National Museum of Anthropology in Mexico City is one of the most important museums in Mexico. It houses an extensive collection of pre-Columbian artifacts from Mexico's indigenous cultures including the Aztecs, Maya and Olmecs. It's a big museum and super interesting so you definitely shouldn't miss out on it. This museum is really, really cool, really interesting, but also huge. So make sure to reserve enough time when visiting. So this area where we're now has a lot of places that you can visit, like the museum we just went to, there's a zoo, there's a bunch of other museums, and well, we're in this area, so we might as well go to one other place here. So we have decided to go and visit a castle. It's supposed to be like a 25 minute walk from the Museum of Anthropology to the castle. And here on the way, it looks like you can also rent like a paddle boat. This castle is a beautiful historical site that once served as an imperial residence and later as the presidential home. I kind of wish I would have worn a cuter outfit today because everyone's taking such cute photos here and it's like the perfect place for that. I do look like someone who's been backpacking for six months, unfortunately, but oh well. This spot is kind of giving me Alice in the Wonderland vibes with the checked floor. Looks really cool. feeling quite tired after all the walking today so for dinner we came to a restaurant that's right next to our Airbnb we actually already ate here lunch once right before checking in when we arrived and we know it's good so we decided to come here and starting off with a mundet of course so good That's the first time I've had proper goat cheese whilst in Latin America, I think. <laughs> so good. 